planning to visit Vietnam? Want to know how to respect their culture and traditions? What an exciting prospect. Vietnam is a treasure trove of rich culture and diverse traditions, a land that weaves history and modernity together like a beautiful tapestry. Each thread of this tapestry tells a story about its people, its traditions, its customs. But to truly appreciate this intricate work of art, we must understand its language, the language of local etiquette. In Vietnam, etiquette is not just about courtesy. It's about respect, harmony, and connection. It's about navigating social interactions gracefully, about understanding and appreciating the subtle nuances of Vietnamese culture. It's about fostering positive interactions and creating memorable experiences. So, are you ready to unravel the mysteries of Vietnamese customs and traditions? Are you ready to navigate Vietnam like a local and not just a tourist? Let's dive into eight essential tips to navigate Vietnamese customs. Firstly, understand the concept of saving face. In Vietnamese culture, this is a significant principle, rooted in the idea of maintaining dignity and respect in social situations. It's all about preserving one's reputation and avoiding public embarrassment or shame. This principle is not solely about an individual's honor, but extends to their family, their community, and even their nation. Imagine a situation where someone makes a mistake. Instead of pointing it out publicly, causing them to lose face, you would handle it subtly, privately, ensuring the person's pride remains intact. Similarly, if you feel a sense of discomfort, try to manage it without causing a scene. It's not about suppressing feelings, but about expressing them in a way that respects everyone involved. This practice is part of the social fabric, promoting harmony and respect. It's a dance of diplomacy, a silent agreement to treat each other with kindness and consideration. Remember, the key is to respect others' dignity and maintain harmony. Next, let's talk about etiquette in temples and homes. An important part of Vietnamese culture is the reverence held for sacred and personal spaces. So, when you're stepping into a temple or someone's home, remember to take off your shoes. This small act of respect honors the sanctity of these spaces. Another custom to be aware of is avoiding stepping over ground altars. Ground altars are considered sacred, and stepping over them is seen as disrespectful. Now let's say you're visiting someone's home. It's customary to greet the elders first. This is a sign of respect for their wisdom and age, and don't come empty-handed. Bringing a small gift shows your appreciation for the invitation and is a nice way to honor your host. So whether you're exploring a centuries-old temple or visiting a new local friend, these simple gestures can show your respect for Vietnamese culture. Thirdly, always ask before taking photographs. In the age of smartphones and social media, it's easy to forget that not everyone may be comfortable with having their picture taken, especially without their consent. In Vietnam, like many places around the world, it's important to respect people's privacy. This extends to taking photographs of people and their belongings. Imagine being in their shoes. How would you feel if a stranger started taking photos of you or your home without asking? It could feel intrusive, right? That's why it's always better to ask for permission first. It shows respect for the person's privacy and acknowledges their rights to their own image and belongings. Remember, a picture may be worth a thousand words, but the respect you show by asking for permission before taking a photograph speaks volumes about your character. It's a simple act that can make a big difference in how you are perceived. A polite ask can go a long way in respecting others' boundaries. Fourthly, dress appropriately during your visit. Vietnam is a country that values modesty in dress, and this is especially important outside of urban areas. This means avoiding clothing that is too revealing, such as skimpy attire or visible undergarments. Now this doesn't mean you need to completely overhaul your wardrobe, but rather adapt to the local customs. For instance, when visiting religious sites or rural areas, opt for loose-fitting clothes that cover your shoulders and knees. This small adjustment can go a long way in showing respect for the local culture. The same principle applies to swimwear. While it's perfectly acceptable to wear a swimsuit at the beach or pool, shirtlessness in public spaces is generally frowned upon. Dressing appropriately is more than just a fashion statement. It's a way of showing that you respect and appreciate the local culture. Remember, respectful attire is a form of cultural sensitivity. Next, embrace the communal dining culture. In Vietnam, dining is an experience of togetherness, a time to share not just food but also companionship and conversation. The act of sharing dishes is common, fostering a sense of community and unity. It's about passing plates, exchanging smiles, and creating memories. Remember, your table manners speak volumes about you. 
So, use chopsticks correctly, don't point them towards others, and definitely avoid sticking them upright in your rice bowl. It's considered bad luck. Also, it's a lovely gesture to offer food to others before helping yourself. It shows consideration and respect for your dining companions. And don't forget to express your gratitude for the meal and the hospitality. A simple thank you can go a long way in leaving a positive impression. So, when in Vietnam, dine as the Vietnamese do. Share the food, share the joy, and share the respect. Good table manners are a universal language of respect. Seventh, use appropriate forms of address. In Vietnam, as in many cultures, language is a reflection of respect and understanding. Particularly when it comes to salutations, the Vietnamese language has distinct forms of address based on age and gender. This is an essential way of showing regard for the people you interact with. For instance, when speaking with someone older, it's customary to use the term an for men and chi for women, translating roughly to older brother and older sister. Alternatively, for those younger, M is used, a term denoting younger sibling. In professional settings, it's common to address individuals by their professional title followed by their first name. Remember, these salutations are not just about politeness, they are an integral part of the language and culture. By taking the time to learn and use these correct forms of address, you show your respect for the Vietnamese culture and the people. Respectful communication fosters positive interactions. Lastly, be mindful of your hand gestures. In the vibrant culture of Vietnam, your hands can tell a story of respect or, inadvertently, one of rudeness. The fingers crossed gesture, for example, is considered offensive. So, if you're hoping for good luck, you might want to find a different symbol. Also, refrain from pointing at or patting people. These actions can be seen as intrusive or disrespectful, and the last thing we want to do is make someone uncomfortable. Remember, it's not just about what we say, but how we say it, and that includes our non-verbal communication. When passing objects, it's best to use both hands or your right hand. This is a sign of respect and courtesy, and it's a small gesture that can make a big difference. In Vietnam, as in many cultures, the subtle language of hands is significant. Remember, your hands can speak volumes about your respect for others. Finally, remember the power of a smile and friendly demeanor. As we delve into the beauty of Vietnamese culture, it becomes apparent that open-heartedness and warmth are universal languages that transcend any barriers. You see, across the world, a smile and a friendly demeanor are universally recognized symbols of goodwill. They're like a warm, inviting beacon that tells others you come in peace and are open to positive engagement. In Vietnam, this holds especially true. Despite cultural or language differences, a smile is a powerful tool to bridge any gaps and foster positive interactions. It's a nonverbal cue that can set a comfortable tone for conversation and interaction, breaking down walls and opening the way for genuine exchanges. But don't just stop at a smile. Pair it with a friendly demeanor and you have a winning combination. Show interest in their culture, their traditions, their day-to-day -day life. Displaying curiosity and respect for their way of life can go a long way in fostering meaningful connections. And then, take it a step further. Learn a few basic Vietnamese greetings and expressions. This small effort can make a world of difference. It shows your respect for their language and culture, and is a clear indication of your willingness to connect on a deeper level. Simple phrases like, Xin chào, for hello, Cam on, for thank you, or Tam biet, for goodbye, can bring a smile to the faces of locals and help you engage in a more meaningful way. Remember, cultural exchange is not just about observing and learning, but also about participating, about becoming a part of the story, even if for a brief moment. And what better way to participate than by extending a warm smile, a friendly demeanor, and a respectful nod to their language. So, next time you find yourself amidst the vibrant streets of Hanoi or the serene landscapes of Sapa, remember to smile, be friendly, and sprinkle in some Vietnamese phrases. With these tips, you can engage respectfully with Vietnamese culture, fostering positive interactions and memorable experiences during your visit. Let's recap the eight essential tips to navigate Vietnamese customs. First, practice saving face by steering clear of public confrontations or actions that might cause embarrassment. Second, show mindfulness in temples and homes by removing your shoes, respecting ground altars, and greeting elders first. Third, always ask before capturing photographs to respect personal privacy. The fourth tip is to dress appropriately, especially outside urban areas, following local customs for attire. Fifth, embrace the communal dining culture by sharing dishes and practicing good table manners. Sixth, 
learn the correct salutations, using appropriate forms of address based on age and gender. Seventh, use your hands wisely, avoiding offensive gestures and using both hands or your right hand when passing objects. Lastly, smile and be friendly. A warm demeanor and basic Vietnamese greetings can bridge cultural gaps and show goodwill. Remember, when you respect the culture and traditions of Vietnam, you enrich your travel experience.